Welcome to Life of Hair, my name is James Atkinson and in this episode we're going to talk about pre-sectioning for highlights. Now a lot of people are pre-sectioning hair these days for various reasons, mainly in haircuts, but not necessarily to put foils in. Something that I commonly see, especially when someone's taking on a full head of highlights, is that they've got a whole head of hair and they pick up that whole head of hair, they take a section along the bottom just like so, and then they clip up this enormous lump of hair. They're taking on the whole head in one go. The other thing that I see sometimes is people taking the centre section, running it down the back, separating the hair off to the back of the ear, clipping that front section out of the way, repeating on the opposite side and then they take on the whole head in four quadrants. Now if you can manage this that's great but it does leave you with a massive job on your hands. One that is can be overwhelming for some people. I know so many hairdressers who hate the idea of doing full head of highlights because it seems so overwhelming. So what we're going to do in this video today is we're just going to exclusively look at the pre-section, how to break the hair down into some neat little sections that you can really focus your mind on exactly what you're going to do with each of those sections as you work through the head. We start this pre-section by taking a centre parting right through the middle of the head. Then we establish the highest point of the head using our comb making sure the chin is in a neutral position. We take a section that runs down the head to just behind the ear. Now checking that our section is no wider than the foil, we take a slight diagonal to down behind the ear. We do exactly the same thing on the opposite side. Double checking the width of our sections are the same from top to bottom. We then find the centre of the parietal ridge and we draw a straight line through that area. This will give us two sections, one on the top of the head and one on the side of the head. We do exactly the same thing on the opposite side, creating four neat little sections for us to work off later. Split the centre back straight down the middle and section one side out of the way. Continue sectioning through the parietal ridge down to a position between the crown and the occipital bone. Make sure your sections are super clean and you can see exactly where you're going. Then split it straight down the centre back. We are nearly done. This might seem like a laborious process in the beginning, but trust me, it is well worth it. From the centre of the occipital bone, we draw a straight line to the back of the ear. This gives us two further sections and then we simply clip up the remaining hair into two neat sections. This pre-section is so simple once you get your head around it and it will save you tons of time. I have had stylists tell me time and time again how much time I've saved them by showing them this technique. And there we have it, the pre-section complete. It is so simple to put in. It looks complicated in the beginning, but when you get your head around this pre-section, it makes the full head so, so simple. And you can break it down to do half heads and three quarter heads and whatever you want it to be, it can be. It is something that you can also teach your apprentices or juniors or whatever you call them in your salon to do for you while you mix up your color if you so wish and it is that is something that gives them really good hair handling skills and teaches them to break the head down 
in a really, really concise fashion. And the joy of this is that it also gives you the opportunity to think differently about how you're going to treat each of these sections throughout the foiling service. So if you found this interesting, you know what to do. Subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up, and I'll see you again on Sunday for another episode of The Life of Hair.